Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, some nugget of news about the Oculus MetaQuest 3. Sorry, the MetaQuest 3, as there is still Oculus Studios, but there is no more Oculus, of course. And it is now listed in Amazon. So that is just hmm, getting us a little bit more excited as we get nearer and nearer towards the launch date, of course. So let's go into the article. So there was a post on Reddit posted in the AR underscore MR underscore XR group. And basically of someone who, you know, posted a picture to say that it was listed on the Amazon for Japan. And you can see it says Oculus, uh, sorry, MetaQuest 3 128 GB coming soon, currently unavailable. Uh, let me just zoom in even more. Click here for details of availability, excuse me. Um, and then basically that's that. So I decided to go online and just to see whether, you know, it's really true, whether it's not. And I did go online and I did manage to find it. So let me just show you very quickly here. The, so this is the Amazon.com. And as you can see, it is not available on the Amazon.com. And it's also, by the way, not available on the Amazon.se, the Singaporean one. But it is available on the Amazon.com.jp. If you just see here, this is the Amazon.co.jp. There's no .com, excuse me. So it is available indeed on the uh, Japan one. So if I just click on it and I go to the actual page, you'll see that it's listed here. There's only one picture at the moment. So you can see the details a little bit more, uh, you know, zoomed in as they say. And uh, yes, it does say. So what it says at the moment is that it says Quest 2 headset single, headset alone or starter set. So this is very interesting. Um, so does this mean that if people have, for example, the controllers for the Quest Pro or who purchased the separate controllers um, for the Quest 2, that was the Quest Pro controllers, the one with the cameras, does that mean it's going to be compatible with this actual new Meta Quest 3 if you can purchase the headset without any controllers? That's my first point. My second point is, um, is whether this also potentially means that the $500 won't include the controllers. I very much doubt that that is the case, though. I'm pretty sure that it will come with the controllers. I doubt that, you know, uh, that Meta will, you know, come up with some sort of thing where they're marketing everything. They say $500 includes the controllers and all this, but then last minute there are no controllers. I very much doubt it, although you never know with Meta, to be honest with you, but I very much doubt that. But it is very interesting to see that it does say headset alone um, so perhaps there will be a cheaper price, you know, maybe 400 or 350, um, you know, without any controllers. Who knows? Starter set, I'm not quite sure what this means also, um, but when I click on it, you can see a video here. But the video, oh, uh, let me just can the music. The video doesn't actually show the MetaQuest 3, it shows the MetaQuest 2. So this could potentially just be, you know, a placeholder. And also the other thing I noticed here is that there is also... Um, you know, already apparently 2,442 Japanese people have rated, um, you know, the Quest 3, although I, I'm not quite, although, oh, sorry, it says Meta Quest 2 now. So uh, when clicking on the, let me go back. Okay, there we go. Let me click back on it. All right, let's reopen the page. So it says, okay, it says Quest 3 here, but when I click on start a set, it then says Quest 2. Okay, so the starter set, we're not quite sure what it means right now, but basically it leads to another page, basically. So that is very, very interesting, guys. Let's just see if there's anything else we can read here. Uh, the all-in-one AR VR headset, uh, Evolves platform, okay, 40%. So this is basically what we just know just now at the moment, that it is 40% uh, thinner lens compared to the Quest 2. Um, and also the body will be about 40% thinner. So we're not quite sure what's the weight of the actual headset at this moment in time. What we do know is that the battery length will be around the same as the Quest 2 at this moment in time, which is good in a way because it will be much more powerful. It will be more lightweight because the lenses are pancake lenses, which uh, let me just show you very quickly, are basically these lenses here. So if I just turn the phone and show you, so pancake lenses are basically these type of lenses here where they're completely flat and that is basically what enables the headset to be quite slim as you can see like so. So having Fresnel lenses means that they're deeper 
and uh, the headset will be bigger as per the previous VR headsets, uh, basically. And also, the clarity of the lenses should be around the same as um, you know as, as as the Pico Four and also the Quest Pro. And it is boring. We do know it's going to have um, uh, pancake lenses because it's going to borrow some of the technology as per previous videos. And do go and check out that video from the Quest Pro that it released a few days ago as well. So battery life, we know about two three hours. Uh, lenses we know is going to be borrowed by the Quest Pro. The resolution of the lenses we're not quite sure, but they did say Meta did say that it will be the best yet. So you know maybe 2K, 4K. Who knows? We don't really know at this moment in time. The weight we know it will be below 500 grams. It should normally be about 400. Although we're still not quite sure why the headset is going to be front heavy and not, for example, like this one where you have the battery at the back and then you have the thing at the front here. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, I'm really not sure why, you know, why Meta decide to keep putting everything at the front, which is very bad for the back and, and, and the collarbone and, I mean, the vertebrae, uh, you know, and the shoulders also, it can hurt after a while to have everything at the front. So not quite sure, guys. So guys, we know that the headset will be revealed for MetaConnect on September 27th, 2023. The Meta Quest 2 was available from October 2020. We know it's going to pack a 8 gigabyte of RAM, if I'm not wrong, uh, up to 256 gigabyte of uh, actual uh, memory. So here we go. Yep. So 12 gig of RAM uh, and 256 gigabyte of storage. And then there will also be a 128, of course, which is the cheapest version. For the display resolution, uh, at the moment, we don't have any confirmation about this. Uh, we speculate that it will be about 4K, uh, you know, including both eyes and have LCD up to 100 nits, although this is speculative as well. Refresh rate, we do anticipate 120 and not like Pico, uh, who decide not to have uh, 120 anymore inside of the Pico 4, unless I think you have the Enterprise version, if I'm not wrong. Do comment below, let me know if I'm wrong about that. Uh, it will have a Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 uh, and also stereo speakers, positional audio, 3.5 mm headphone jack although i didn't see a headphone jack on the actual uh, renders to be honest with you so i'm not quite sure if that's confirmed or not um and then price yes so the price will be about 500 and above so it should put quest 3 you know really up there with everyone else who's in the market and it should be a much better headset of course than the pico 4 the question is will the pico 5 follow suit in the same year this year although i very much doubt it but will it follow suit like let's say within six months and then you know will people save their money get the pico for pico five instead or what have you not so it might create an interesting war and of course apple will be releasing the vision pro but that's in a different class of its own um which will be a, just a freaking mind-blowing vr visor or vr it won't it might not even be called a vr headset as far as i'm concerned as they'll be using complete different technology but who knows I'm just excited. Are you excited? Leave your comments below. And by the way, guys, thank you so much for, for going to the Amazon and purchasing stuff using the links in the description for my previous videos as I was able to purchase this microphone after hearing what you guys had to say in the comments saying that the audio wasn't perfect when I was moving the phone. So I decided to purchase something which is a Boya, uh, Boya microphone. Very cheap, only 20 bucks or something or 50 bucks. And uh, yeah, seems to do the job. Leave a comment below. Let me know if the audio is any better. All right, guys, until next time, thank you very much for watching today's video. I will see you in another video very soon. This Friday, we're doing another AMA with this guy, by the way, called Valem, uh, who's a developer and has done amazing, amazing videos. Uh, do go and check out his channel. Say hi in the comments. His name is Valem. He also has another channel called Valem Tutorials where he teaches people how to develop stuff in VR, like games and all that kind of stuff. So he'll be on the channel on Friday. Details coming soon. All right, guys, take it easy. See you later. Bye for now.